old-fashioned movie theaters used to have display boards made up of hundreds of electric light bulbs, which could be turned on or off in various patterns to form words or pictures. This is exactly how your computer screen works. If you want to see your name in lights, all you have to do is type it. Because when you type something at the computer, what you're doing in effect is turning on a lot of little points of light on the screen. Each of these points of light is called a picture element, or pixel for short. There is a grid of about 250 by 200 pixels on the average computer screen, giving you 50,000 pixels altogether. Now, there are two different methods by which the computer can transform what you type into corresponding patterns of pixels on the screen. The first method uses a chip inside the computer called a character generator, which automatically generates the equivalent of a V, for instance, in a little grid of pixels. With this method, you are limited to calling up chunks of pre-patterned pixels. You can't control the pixels individually. If you wanted to make a dot appear on the screen, for example, you couldn't instruct one pixel to appear, only a ready-made square consisting of a bunch of pixels. Because of this, any picture that you try to create out of these blocks will look chunky and rather primitive. This is why this first method of turning on parts of a computer screen is called low resolution. Contrast this with the second method of making computer pictures. With this method, you don't need a character generator. Instead, each binary digit or bit that goes into RAM memory can control an individual pixel on the screen. There is a one-to-one -one correspondence between each bit and each pixel. Because these bits form a sort of map of which pixels will be on and which will be off on the screen, this is called bit mapping. Bit mapping allows you to make a single pixel appear, a little dot, or to make a thin line of single pixels, or to build up a fairly detailed picture. This method is therefore called high resolution. So when you don't have control of all the pixels and have to go via a character generator, Valentino looks like this. But when you can do bit mapping and therefore control each individual pixel, Valentino looks like this. <laughs>